The idea that American fleets should be in the Baltic, in the Black Sea, in the South China Sea, in the Sea of Okhotsk, wherever, they think, well, you can do that because you have the capability, but it costs you a fortune. And you can only do it now because you have the US dollar and the exorbitant privilege which comes with the US dollar. Nobody remember in the 60s, the Vietnam War, which was very expensive. And Johnson wanted to carry on with the Great Society program. So in the end, the US dollar had to be depacked from gold, and it led to horrifying inflation, which Paul Volcker later had to squeeze out at horrible pain to the entire world. They don't want to do that. In fact, in my view, they will never open the domestic capital market fully to London and New York. Because you do that, you lose control of monetary policy within the country. And China has always this belief that to preserve its homogeneity, and it's 92% Han, to preserve its homogeneity, you must always build walls around yourself. It can be a physical wall, it can be a capital markets wall, it can be a wall on Hollywood movies, on textbooks, and the most remarkable war of all in recent years, a biological war that they build. You know, in the national anthem, which they sing every day, they talk about rebuilding walls. The Americans don't know this. They think that, like themselves, the Chinese are also a proselytizing missionary power. The Americans, when they come to Asia, Sometimes it's cynical, but usually it's sincere. Their wish is for you to become like them. And they kept lecturing Lee Kuan Yew. He got so exasperated. So he said, make me a 51st state, and I'll follow your instructions. Then you look after me, you look after my defense. Now the question for Europe is this. You rely on the US for your defense, for your security.防晒乳我选KS防加呵护抗光清爽高防晒凝露因为它有媲美蓝光神盾的抓走植萃保护我在阳光下延缓肌肤老化维持青春弹力可以防御工作环境里的三星商品各种光源对肌肤的伤害